Now let us understand interest on drawings. Suppose a partner makes drawings as follows. On July 1st, 2000, on August 1st, 2000, October 1st, 3000, November 1st, 6000 and Feb 1st, 4000. The rate of interest is 6%. Accounts are closed on 31st March. What is the interest on drawings? So how do we compute? Suppose we were to take 6% interest for each of these holdings, each of these drawings. Let us say July, we have drawings of 2000. Interest would be 6% into 2000 for July, August, September, October, November, December, Jan, Feb and March. We are talking of 9 months here. Similarly, for August, again amount withdrawn is 2000. Therefore, the interest amount would be 6% of 2000 for 8 months. After August, let's come to October 1st. October 1st, now the amount withdrawn is 3000. Therefore, 6% 6 into 3000 for, when we talk of October, we are talking of October, November, December, Jan, Feb and March. Therefore, we are talking for 6 months. Next, let's come to November 1st. November 1st, an amount is 6000. Again, 6 by 100 into amount is 6,000 for how many months are we talking of now? 5 months, right? November, December, Jan, Feb and March. Then you've got February, Feb 1st, 4,000. So that's 6 by 100 into 4,000 for 2 months. So what is the amount of interest? What is the interest on drawings? This is one method of computing. <clears throat> what would be the interest here? If we take 6, 2, 1. We are talking of 90 rupees. Next case, if you take, we are talking about 6, 2, 4, 80 rupees again next case six two three ninety in this case again you have six two three so we are talking of 15 rupees. Now we are talking of 150 rupees. I'm sorry, 150 rupees. And finally we have <clears throat> 40. This adds up to a total interest on drawings of 450. So individually here, we have applied the rate percent for the amount, for the period for which the drawings has been made and we have computed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same thing can be discussed under the product method. Product method. So under the product method, it is slightly shorter. How do you compute under the product method is <coughs> you... Take the amount of drawings, the amount involved, okay, the number of months, the number of 
months. The amount involved, the number of months and what you get is the product. So for 1st July, if you are talking of 1st July, amount involved is 2000. Number of months, July, August, September, October, November, December, Jan, Feb and March, we are talking of 9 months. The product here is 18,000. Let us do the same for all of them. August 1st, 2000, we are talking of the number of months for which interest needs to be calculated is 8. The product of the amount and the number of months for which interest is to be calculated. We calculate the product at 16,000. Next, you come to October. We have 3,000. October, November, December, Jan, Feb, March. We are talking of six months. Again, the product is 18,000. After that, you have 1st November. 1st November, amount involved is 6,000. The number of months is November, December, Jan, Feb, March, 5. So, you have... 30,000 here. Next, Feb. February is 4,000. We are talking of 2 months. That is 8,000. So what have we done? The amount into the number of months for which interest is due. You get a product. Then we take a sum of the product. That's 90,000 sum of the product and then we apply the rate of interest on this amount for one month for one month so six percent into ninety thousand for one month this gives us 450 again so the same computation can be done a little faster using the product method using the product method what is the system we compute first product we take a product what is the product product is equal to amount into number of months number of months for which the money for which we need to compute the interest that's the product then we take sum of product sum of product and then how do you compute the interest? Interest is equal to rate percent into sum of product for one month. For one month. For one month. That's divided by 12. This is how interest is computed using the product method. Slightly faster. We'll just go through a neater presentation of both the methods. So A, the same problem, just been presented neatly. 1st July, you have 2,000, 6% for 9 months, interest would be 90. August, 2,000 withdrawn, interest would be 80. 1st October, 3,000 withdrawn, 6% would be 90. 1st November, 150. 1st February, 450. The same thing, product method, what did we do? We took the number of months for which interest is due, took the amount, multiplied, arrived at the product, sum of the product and what is interest equal to? This sum into the rate percent but we take it for one month, for one month giving us the same answer. <clears throat>